Hello and welcome. Um, my name is Just Chris, and this is my very first YouTube video, my very first YouTube channel. And I thought I would, uh, I thought I'd do a little uh, tour of the Minecraft server that uh, my friends and I play on. Uh, something I host, uh, or am paying for the hosting. Uh, we've made a number of interesting uh, buildings and constructs, and it thought it might be nice to share. Uh, share them since both with colleagues, families, and friends, and anyone else on the internet who uh, is interested. I've uh, talked a lot about Minecraft and my interest in it um, with friends and family, and I thought it might be nice to show them, you know, what the heck I'm talking about. So let's uh, let's see if we can connect and get started here. So this is the spawn area. Um, I built a little garden around the area. Um, this is uh, where you start in the game. Uh, for those who don't know, Minecraft is basically a game where you build buildings and machines and stuff. You can also explore and fight monsters, etc. So I've made this little garden. Fountains. Uh, for those who know, I'm using the Soar tex, uh, Texture Pack, or Resource Pack. So I've got some fountains here. And I have to say, I love the chisel mod. It lets you make many beautiful things. So if we leave the spawn area, got a little uh, gazebo that uh, takes you over to the town itself. And we'll just let it load here for a moment. And you can see it uh, takes you to a bigger gazebo, and now we are actually in town. I uh, I built the gazebos, and the the teleporter is a kind of a starting spot for the town. And we got streets down that way, streets down that way, streets down that way. And a really really big tree. That's uh. I believe from the Natura mod, but pretty much the biggest game in the, the biggest tree in the game, and I wanted one because it was you know cool. So uh, we can go down here, street lamps. I made those. Uh, we've got a little uh, farm. It's uh, using magical crops to grow uh, <laughs> to grow iron, which of course makes a lot of sense, and uh, some pumpkins and melons. This large farm is uh, was made by a friend, another player, uh, Wumble Minky. Uh, he made a fully automated farm, and it serves us and provides us a variety of items, mostly baked potatoes. Uh, the fun part about it is it actually runs on baked potatoes as its fuel source to power the machines. So it harvests the potatoes, it cooks the potatoes, and then it uses some of those potatoes. To uh, fuel itself, which I think is terribly clever. Um, go over here. Uh, Wumble Minky made, uh, of course, a mob grinder. Clever use of the dark glass to keep it dark inside. I uh, thought it was quite clever. And it produces, well, a whole lot of random mob items. He also built a um, computer controlled, this is with computer craft. Uh, automatic mob spawning and grinding. Uh, if we keep going down the street, uh, I'll show those buildings afterwards. Up there is the is our portal to the Nether. Of course, it's an early game setup, so it's still got uh, old just cobblestone and that. Our portal to the deep dark is over here, and our portal to Twilight Forest is over here. If we come back over here, I can show you this fun beastie is basically Mer Super Mario pipes to an under ocean base where we keep our, well, that's where I built the wither grinder. Um, I built the pipes and the dome under the ocean and the uh, wither grinder. This brings us to, well, we'll go up this way first. We got our slime trees and 
a mushroom and a deer and donkey those all belong to uh, Morphean and then there's a bit of a tunnel which I made uh, back to the back end basically there's the back side of the town has this big uh, this bit of a hill a cliff face and so I made a, t a tunnel through it to make it easy to get there so this very flower flower covered home is belongs to Morphean. She uh, actually she was the one who built the first house, and she basically is our resident apiarist um, and resident Iron Man. She uses the uh, power armor, and she's got her apiary. It's her uh, bee breeding that she does, and she's doing some fish breeding with Mara Culture, and of course the bees produ provide produce a whole lot of flowers and she's doing tree breeding and forestry stuff and that's uh, that's what she's uh, currently doing we'll just jump down here and uh, we'll come back well we'll go back to where we were so coming further down from her house and the Mario pipes we have our science lab uh, I built the building. It came out kind of strange, but I think it looks okay. In there, we've got our advanced genetics machines. We've got a fully automated uh, brewing system powered by uh, adv Applied Energistics uh, ME system. You can actually go in there and just say, I want a potion of invisibility, and it will go and make it. And uh, I built that. That was fun to build. Um, in the basement, we've got a bit of a cage for uh, s automatically scraping creatures for the genetics in the cage. One fun note uh, for other Minecraft players who use Engineer's Toolbox, the hinges also work on fences and uh, iron bars, and will reconnect afterwards, which was a fun discovery. Down here, we've got a... Uh, well, a TNT blast chamber. Factorization, you use TNT to make diamond shards, which you use for making various items, and so I wanted a safe environment. That's all obsidian encased. And up in the top of the science lab, that's the uh, computer system, and uh, that's a link actually to the workshop's ME system, where most communal items are, uh, and that powers the uh, the automatic brewing station. And of course we've got a little computer lab here with a couple of uh, computer craft computers and we keep our floppy disks in here and our programs and whatnot. So that's the science lab. If we look right across the street at this big fancy building, this is our workshop and I kinda got inspired. I wanted to do something with sandstone and I kinda got a I don't know I'm tempted to say an Egyptian or an uh, ancient Middle Eastern uh, kind of vibe to it. It's kind of a hybrid of stuff, and of course it's got hieroglyphs, so it's kind of Egyptian. And uh, this is the workshop. This is the first floor. I tried to do a bit of a mosaic design on the floor with uh, chisel carpets, but uh, and so we've got a variety of machines here. We've got pulverizers and uh, furnaces. The industrial craft machines are here. Seg mill, alloy smelter, thermal centrifuge, induction smelter, you know, all sorts of fun things. And of course our laser powered assembly table from Buildcraft. And uh, the main ME system and this of course stores all the communal items that we uh, that we keep. And uh, I guess I'll go downstairs first and show you that it's powered by a big uh, molecular assembler. So it crafts well, I teach it any new thing I need to make, and so it crafts a whole mess load of things, and of course the drives that store the data, and our blast furnace, and our railcraft, our railcraft blast furnace, and our rotary craft blast furnace. We've got our big uh, Tinker's Construct smeltery. It's got a little system up here auto set up to uh, automatically make brownstone, which is what the roads are made out of, so it makes it a bit easier. Extra Utilities mod has unstable ingots, which are very dangerous to craft, but I did find on online a p an image on IMGur about a setup for a machine using a PIM 
and uh, transfer node and a turtle, a crafting table. And basically the turtles in the PIM sucks the items out of your inventory and crafts it immediately for you, so you don't have to worry about the 10 second explosion stuff, or uh, it coming out of the crafting table. It's kind of neat. Very special thanks to whomever thought that up. I will see if I can actually find a name to put, and I'll post that in a comment or something as soon as I figure out how to do that in YouTube. Other people have done it, so I'm sure I can. I'll go up. Again, uh, I apologize if I'm all rambly. This is my first video, and this is how I sound on vo answering machines. Voicemail as well, so I know, I sound horrible. This is second floor. This is, um, it's connected to the ME system, and it's basically auto production of ice and uh, obsidian and cobblestone and stone and gravel and sand and glass and sandstone. Uh, so it's basically unlimited, uh, fed from lava in the nether and uh, in water from uh, this reservoir. And, uh, then we got uh, the ME system is connected to a bunch of, uh, is connected to a pulverizer and a furnace and all that so that the auto crafting can produce stuff. And then uh, we've got our some of uh, miscraft pages though for various uh, destinations, but most of that's been taken over by the Stargate, which I will show later on. We go outside, and of course we've already been here. That's the farm, but we can go up one more level to the Blue Dome. The dome level here. It's uh, mostly just an attic, an attic, a storage area. But the uh, street lamps control system is here, and this is the uh, auto updating for stargates. The idea I had was if I add a new stargate somewhere, I want to update all the other stargates to know to dial, be able to dial to it, and so that machine does that. Um, yeah, so we'll go down, we'll go down again using the elevators. We'll go out and see where we are here, and we'll keep exploring the town a bit. Well, I guess I'll go this way first. So, this is the Stargate that I built. That was uh, quite a difficult build, and you basically you select your destination, and it will dial, and I will demonstrate that in a future video. This is video is meant to be just mostly a quick tour of town. Um, it turned out really nice. I, I'm actually quite proud of that. But it was hard to make. This is Wumble Mickey's house. Casa del Wumble, as it says. Uh, this is his temporary home. He's been doing a lot of... Uh, sorry, a lot of thermal... Uh, uh, farm craft and blood magic stuff. He's our resident uh, wizard and alchemical genius. And um, I'll show you some of his other stuff later. We go through this uh, tunnel, we'll go to the power plant. So the town has got uh, power lines running under all the roads so that any building can just connect in to the central power. And it is all powered by this nuclear reactor. So the town owns a nuclear. Uh, so you've got the nuclear reactor here, it's um, using Big Reactors mod. It's entirely full with uh, gelid cryothium. It's fed by this uh, reservoir of water, and it's not running right now, but I get, uh, for those who know, I get a 0 0.03 uh, efficiency, millibucket per tick efficiency on the fuel usage with this design to go on and optimize it, but I think I'm doing pretty well with it. And it only uses uh, two rods, so it's not too bad. And of course, it's been automated to automatically uh, reprocess the cyanite into more Ilarium. It's also connected up to computer control. So as you can see, computer craft is monitoring and controlling the whole system. Apologize for the bad fonts on the screen. That's a bug related to using the Sortex texture pack with computer craft. The uh, fonts don't render right. I guess kerning is buggered or something. Anyway, so the nuclear reactor sends, uh, heats water, sends the steam across this pipe into the turbine, which is a 
big honking turbine. Uses uh, endurium. Three layers deep was the best. I mean, it's diminishing returns, but that was kind of the best balance point. Um, we can go up and take a look. The output is what uh, puts out over 1800 RF per tick running at full speed. And the computer lets it lets the uh, the batteries drain down enough so that this thing can get up to full speed before recharging. And it feeds into four resonant energy cells, which are then extracted and sent uh, all over town to the transfer nodes, as well as there's a tesseract for long distance power requirements. Oh yeah, I should show you up there. We got the gratings at the top. So this is a power plant. I uh, I built this. This is basically my first construct in the game because I wanted to get power going early. And um, I should mention Morphine was the one with her bees to provide all the gelid cryothium and the endurium. So and most of the iron and most of the other materials used to build the building. I kind of just mooched off her. Um, much appreciated. Thank you, Morphian. We keep going. So we've got the workshop and the Stargate. We'll come down here. Oh, before. I'm sorry. I should show you. Over here. We go up this lane. This way. We can go to the Wizard's Keep. There, that's... Uh, that is what Wumble Minky has been working on. Oops. There we go. Hello. I don't know what he does yet. He's new. So, this is the Wizard's Keep. And you can see the town a little bit there. On one side is the Thalmcraft Magic side. We can look at that first. So you've got your cauldron and your research table and your uh, arcane work table. Of course, some uh, magical armor. We can go up further, and this is where we've got the essence, Essentia processing he's setting up. This is relatively new. It's got a little golem that then carries it, and it goes over to the infusion altar. This is the Thomcraft infusion altar. I didn't know about this. This is Thomcraft 4.0 or 4.1. I haven't touched Thomcraft since Thomcraft 3. And so this is a work in progress, I believe, still. But that's uh, the infusion altar. It's very impressive. I love that spinning cube. And it's got the like, different colored roofs. And this looks like there's an upstairs to this place, but it uh, doesn't look like that's, that's uh, completed yet. So let's go down. And we can go through here. And now we're on the blood magic side. But Blood Magic is a very interesting mod. It's kind of dark, but uh, it's really fascinating. And uh, so we've got our, you know, chemistry set and whatnot. We can keep going. This is the uh, the altar, the Blood Altar. He's uh, been upgrading it. I'm not sure if he's at top tier or not, but it looks pretty close to top tier. We'll go back this way and we'll go up go over this way, this is where he does his blood magic uh, rituals. He made his uh, full set of blood armor in here, for example. And of course, blood magic uses a lot of blood, and you can either use your own, or he set up a system with a uh, mob grinder, a dark room mob grinder. Using uh, tainted soil to get high spawning rates, and uh, it fails, it drains the blood through the altar, down into a big steel tank of blood which is, you know, more than a little gruesome. Like I said, the mod is done. And it's interesting. And then over here he's got uh, the arcane plinth and doing more blood magic stuff. I know very little of blood magic. But this is the wizard's keep that uh, Wumble Minky has been working on. This is his big project. And it's turning out pretty fantastically, I have to say. So we'll just go down here, back down here, oops, come on down. Right. So that's the Wizard's Keep, and then we'll head back this way. Uh, I'm sticking to the paths for the tour, but uh, I don't often do that. Actually, no, I'm pretty bad for sticking to the paths. 
Um, well, I guess we'll go this way first. So this is my current home, my little hut. It's uh, I can take it inside. It's not much. It's a temporary home, just to uh, keep the rain off my head and sleep. It's a bit of a lighting glitch there. That's my cat Phantom. She has been uh, genetically modified. She can take no fall damage, and she's fireproof, and she runs faster. And yes, I did science on my cat. Um, go back out. So that's my temporary house until I build my finish my new, new house, which is in the background. I'll show that in a minute. My little uh, garden where I was uh, growing magic crops. Currently, I'm growing. Uh, Nether Essence and Wither Skeleton Essence. You go down here. This is natural. This is a natural pond. I really like the terrain here, so I just didn't want to mess with it. Nice beach area. I'm going to turn it into a bit of a park, I think, and put some benches and maybe some water fountains. Or I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it all nature. This is just, I was experimenting with a, an encased fire jet from Twilight Forest. It's really cool. Actually, I'll show it to you. Just a little test. Isn't that cool? Also works as great as an incinerator. I don't know what I'm going to use it with yet, but it's too cool not to use. And then we'll come back over here, and of course this is the big, 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 big tree. It's a big redwood. Yeah, it is from Natura. A little. So we've got a uh, a chasm, a crack in the wall, crack in the ground uh, over here. So I built a little bridge across it, and I built an elevator that takes you down to the bottom. You can actually see, this is the roots of the tree going all the way down to the bottom of the uh, the chasm. It's crazy. And of course, we've still got some stuff to mine when we uh, feel the need or desire. But we'll go back up. And then, this is where uh, Morphean is ga gathering uh, algae. She uh, uses the uh, algae in a photobioreactor to produce energy, uh, which she's using to power some of her machines in her house. Mm -hmm. I haven't gone into their houses uh, yet. I'll do maybe do that in separate videos once I've gotten their, uh, their permission to enter to put it on video. But if we go up, and this is back, this is where we came in, and I will take you over to show you the next section. This is going to be where, we put, where I put the library. Uh, I just haven't built it yet. And we'll put the... Uh, the various books and material information materials we have, but also book magic, the miscraft stuff can go in there. At least the communal miscraft. Then we come over here. This is my current project. This is my new house. This is the inside is totally not done. Uh, the structure is done, but not the uh, not the interior design. It's all cobblestone on the inside. But the exterior is pretty much done. I still have to do the yard and the fence and all that. But. Uh, yeah, so I tried to go for sort of a, a Victorian roof and a matching me style, and I've got stained glass windows up there. So I'll do a little tour. Windows, yeah. Um, window sell uh, potted plants or plant. Uh, yeah, planters. That's the word. Basement. The windows. Actually, if we go. So if I go over here and step back a bit, and get a view of the side there. Shutters on the windows. They're done out of a uh, painted red wood. The uh, tiger wood is what I use for the planter boxes. So the back of the house. You know, step in the back door. Balconies. The planters. And then this basically looks the same as the other side. It's up here. Like I said, it's still a work in progress, that's why I did no fence. I think I'm going to have fountains, and so something that Morphine gave me was a uh, water jets from, uh, who does that? That's Mariculture. Can actually, there we go, can bounce up them. Whee! So, they can be powered by a bucket, but they do run out, so I was testing to see if I could give them a constant 
feet of wire in it. it looks like I can. I've been able to run it for days uh, without running out. So we can go up to the house and apologies for the messy interior, but it's not, like I said, not complete, but we can look at the inside of the house. So we go in and we've got a nice big two-story main lobby with stairs. Do a tour of the first floor, so there's the inside with the, one of the bay windows. You can see the flowers in the flower pot, flower planters. I don't know what each room is going to be yet. There's the back door. And then this is pretty much a duplicate of the other side. Like that. I guess I'll go downstairs first and show that quickly. Go down. Totally unfinished. Just using temporary materials. But I wanted to get little windows in at the top. But I also wanted to hold the dirt back. I didn't need to, but I wanted to pretend. So I've got little uh, aluminum plates there holding the dirt back. And, you know. If anybody gets motion sickness from games, I'm sorry if this is uh, making you hurl. <laughs> and then this goes out into my mine, which is where I got most of my materials. But you've seen one Minecraft cave, you've pretty much seen them all except for those rare spectacular bits. Alright, so we'll go upstairs to the second story and then we get the front little room, we can go to the try to do a sort of a French door kind of thing with what materials were available to me. I absolutely love these balconies with the swirly glass and the tiger wood rails and the uh, red stained clay for the ground. I think it turned out quite nicely. And we got a bigger room back here, and of course every room's got a balcony. Middle rooms here have a shared balcony. So you can get a closer look at the windows and the door frames there. Working our way up. And these rooms are more of the same. The house is pretty much symmetrical, left to right. And then we can go up to the roof, the attic. Attic? Attic? Um, I wanted windows in the attic and make it a usable space, but that also means I have a third floor that I don't know what to do with. And so it's got various rooms and with the windows. Um, not much to see here, they're pretty much all the same. Let's uh, go up to the roof. I wanted to put a ladder in f because it's kind of meant to be like a old home that's been revamped. Oh, we have chimneys, and smoke. That was a fun little design. Um, the plan is because I can turn the smokers on and off. They're from Twilight Forest. Um, uh, when I make my fireplaces in the house, I'm going to have it so that the smoke is only on when the fireplace is, when a fireplace is running on the appropriate side. So we just take an elevator down here. So that's the, that's my house, that's the, the third floor, and we go down, you can see the stained glass windows. They turned out kind of nice too, I think. It's nice to have the options. And we'll go at the front door. One last look. So. That's my new house. Eventually it'll be done. Took a long time just to get that far. Um, now we'll go up here on this long path. So the other uh, player on the server is uh, a gentleman by the name of Squire Roots and he is working on a big monster sized tower. So we're up on a this is it here, up on a mezzanine, and um, he wants to build it up to the sky, where each floor is like 10 meters tall, and uh, he's learning and exploring. He's uh, a little bit new to Minecraft, and also very completely new to uh, the uh, monster and feed the beast pack, so he's discovering <laughs> a whole world of additional items. And uh, so he, this is his uh, his play area, his exploration area. 
And he's got his mind down here. You can see he's been quite busy. That's new. Very cool. I don't know what that is. At any rate, let's get out of here. You can see that. It's got elevators as well, but there's also these big, 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 big stairs. He said he gave me the second story to do something. He wants he to give each of us a, a floor for us to do with us. We, oh, oh, bad guys. And then I guess this is as high as he's gotten in this construction. So he wants to build to the sky. He had this brilliant idea. I don't know if we can do it or not, but we'd want to try. Oops. To uh, build a big tower, but to see if we can put the Ender Dragon in a force fielded dome, basically a fishbowl. If we can put the Ender Dragon, which is the like the final boss of the whole game, as a pet in a contained space on the top of a big tower, that would be very impressive. So I think it's a brilliant idea. Um, Pretty sure we can contain the dragon. I don't know if we can transport the dragon without killing him. So that's to be determined in the future. But yes, that's his. Uh, he has a name for the tower, but I don't remember it. Apologies, uh, Squire Roots. I uh, I pay attention. Honest, I do. <laughs> so that's a brief tour of the town. I think I will wrap this video up here and um, I can do different videos for other areas within the town so we'll just go back here we can go back to the garden which I think turned out nice I just wish that the uh, the bushes would finish growing the bushes are actually uh, different fruits, so we got mallow berry and raspberry and blackberry all the way around. And uh, I can also say that the uh, we have warded paving stones here, so monsters can't get in. It's a safe area, um, and it's got food. So when you're first appearing on the server, you can be in a safe area and you can survive uh, until you're ready to go out into the world. You can even see the tree from this distance. It's pretty impressive. It's huge. So yeah, this is where we started with a big... Uh, I think technically that's ocean biome. Got a lot of ocean. Big, huge hills. We're using the uh, ATG uh, terrain generator, the alternate terrain generator, which is why the landscape looks different than what you might be used to. But... um. It's pretty nice, I have to say. I, I am enjoying it. Anyway, this is it. I will sign off here, and this will be my first video. Hopefully it turns out nicely. Thank you for watching, and thank you for hanging in to the end. And again, apologize for my rambling. I hope to see you again. And of course, the standard YouTube stuff. If you like it, please like it. If you subscribe, please subscribe if you want to see more. I intend on making a few more, and possibly even... Um, maybe some tutorials on how to build some of the more interesting bits that uh, that we've uh, that we've invented or discovered in uh, in the game. Anyway, I will sign off here. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care. Bye bye.